How's it going everybody? Um, welcome to another episode of Civilization Revolution with Kasuya the Game Hunter channel. I know this is where you guys are always waiting in my channel, so I'm gonna do my best to keep my my fans happy, okay? Uh, it is really important for you guys to please comment, like, and subscribe to my videos. That's the only way I know if I'm doing things right or wrong, okay? So in this episode of Civilization Revolution, we're gonna be... be Immerse into the Chinese uh, civilization. We're gonna be playing with Mao. Remember the ancient bonuses plus one population, medieval knowledge of later land. See, industrial is half cost of libraries. Modern city doesn't get affected by anarchy. And we start with writing, which is interesting because we got access to spies right away. Um, one of the cool things about the Chinese, and actually is one of the reasons that I like to play. Um, with the Chinese, especially when I play multiplayer, is the fact that the new cities got a plus one um, on population. So if you combine that plus um, irrigation, the bonus for irrigation, uh, it's a really, it's really strong civilization to start, especially if you're new. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. You see, we start with writing. So writing open our doors to mathematics. Now, oh, hold on, literacy, yes, and that's another step forward, democracy. So there is a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of people don't feel like writing is uh, an important bonus, but uh, to be quite honest, I mean, whatever move me forward, democracy or any advanced technology, I'll take it any day, and especially with civilization like the, uh, China, that they usually are very strong in technology. So we are just going to start with Beijing in here, having a couple uh, classic start of two warriors to scan the area, depending. We'll see how the layout of the maps is. Um, and based on that, we're going to figure out what to do. What are we doing now? You see, we start with three, a uh, population of three. Everything is always a bonus with the Chinese, and I really enjoy playing with it. So hopefully we're going to have an interesting game. Um, I apologize for the last video with the Greek, but unfortunately the video got extremely, extremely war. It was too easy. Uh, we spent way too much time uh, killing... Let me see. Let me make a switch right now. Try to take advantage and use uh, Kepolia Agali. Why? Because I like to expand with Chinese really, really fast. That's one of the, my key strategies with the Chinese. You have to move fast. If you have a bonus that all your cities are going to get plus one when you found them, you have to take advantage of that. Okay? Try to expand soon. Okay, I know at the beginning, if you don't have code of laws, you're going to be sacrificing one population. But you know what? Even that is worth it. Because if you can also get those cities in place and then go for irrigation, hopefully get the bonus. You are in business, buddy. Um, but let's continue. I was talking about the, the video with the Greek. I'm sorry. It was extremely boring. I just couldn't do anything about it. I got surrounded by everybody. I continue fighting even after recording my last video I play for another hour I was the same stuff just holding I mean I was able to roll over everybody at the end with tanks but it was really really boring so we're gonna do another video with the Greeks hopefully in another situation unfortunately like I say it, that game was really easy but too boring for the Greek I mean and I mean the only thing I was doing is just defending until they reach combustion and the rest is just a story, <laughs> as you guys remember. So we're gonna probably do something extra with the Greek later on. Maybe one of trying to get the achievements. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what we're moving next with the civilization revolution. I know we're gonna continue making videos, but I don't know if we're gonna be doing some special maps. So we're gonna try to uh, do tutorials for to accomplish the achievements. Um, I have really sad news. I know that Civilization Revolution 2 got released, but only for iOS, unfortunately, on tablets. I was really hoping that they're going to do something uh, for console, but to be quite honest, a, a game like a Civilization Revolution 2, I don't think it's something that you can put into the new generation consoles. It might be probably something for the 360 and PS3, but... Uh, well, unfortunately, money is always what uh, command all decisions. So f probably they determined uh, 
it wasn't necessary to create a a game a civilization revolution and a platform of uh, console I don't know, I'm just gonna continue posting, uh, I'm gonna be posting some links probably and trying to boost and trying to get people to support me uh, look at all the hard work that we've been doing for years supporting this game and hopefully, I don't know, who knows, maybe that we can get it for um, for console, or even PC, but I don't think so uh, uh, to be quite honest, I don't think that's gonna happen, so Anyway, let's focus in the game. I don't want to get distracted again. So I'm Beijing and trying to uh, get another settler. It's uh, quite interesting the plan of moving and expand as soon as possible. I can see that I don't really have that uh, any neighbors, like a direct neighbors on my left side. That will allow me to probably expand to the north of this area and trying to use those areas as a choke points. That way I can block uh, any Oncoming attack to my capital Beijing that is coming from land, right? Nice, we have a settler and we go for another settler. Interesting. Okay, let me see if we can see this guy. That's a really interesting location with oak and all that production. I don't know. But we're gonna use this one, this first settler, trying to block that entrance. That one. It's not the best, but you know what? I have access to die and also to a uh, well, so maybe it's not that bad after all. So we're gonna try to go and expand in that area. But like I said, the, the, the something that you have to do with the Chinese is to expand as soon as possible. Take advantage of that, that's the whole idea. And then with the half price libraries, <laughs> are you? Are you kidding me? That's, a, that's an amazing bonus. Really, really good. Yeah, that's a this location. I don't have much food, but I can build a granary. I can have access to the well. There's some dye over there that I can use for um, get more science. Could be better, but like I say, uh, sometimes I, I have some cities that I plant strategically just for in this case in this one is just to provide me a gate uh, so Wuhan is going to be the gate between for any civilization that is trying to come to Beijing and a freaking freaking Genghis Khan this is probably one of the most annoying neighbors mm. especially because they start taking care of all the barbarians and expanding extremely fast and even with those little tiny cities they they still find a way to 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 beat you in, in culture and stuff like that. You know, do you guys remember? We're playing Deity. So it's always thought that bull crap going on, right? Well anyway, we're gonna continue with our plan with this. Oh my god, this is a nice area. Let's go back and get our settler, please. A cattle that well, nice. All right, we have a, uh, another settler, and like I mentioned before, this is critical to be able to uh, manage your city the best way possible. So you need to make changes in every turn when you need to focus in production. So, oh, nice, a friendly, friendly, friendly village. That's good. That's good stuff. Interesting. So now Wuhan, I know it's gonna get under fire very soon by the by the Genghis Khan, and I saw Leo Green over there, so I won't be surprised if Ella Spain is also over there. So let's see what we're gonna do. This guy is going straight, straight. Nice. There we go, man. Sunri, if we are lucky and we get a, a irrigation and the bonus, that will be awesome. That will be awesome. If you think about it, that's going to be three cities. They're going to get the bonus. Well, like I said, hoping, hoping, hoping that they can get something going. All right. 
Not too bad. Let me see if I can get rid of this little village. Barbarian village. Because otherwise the King is gonna take and all of a sudden gonna have like a thousand expansions. <laughs> really interesting to play with Genghis Khan, but usually, like I say, those mini cities that you capture, uh, the barbarian villages, usually are in really bad locations, and you're going to lose uh, the bonus of the whatever resources, resources right there. Wow, this is a really good location. like it a lot. Really interesting location. Having cattle over there is going to be great to make that city grow even faster. And they have well too. And one of my plans to get the cut up law. Ah, come on, dude. Really? You freaking barbarian, man. God damn it, man. That freaking guy killed all my troops, man. Every single one. Damn it, that made me change. Let me change completely. Let me see if I can get another settler and I can continue expanding. I have to do it now because you guys remember in a few more minutes I'm going to have my neighbors knocking at my backyard. So uh, the best thing that I can do right now is to get all that, control all that area as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, this this area is perfect. So calendar. No bad at all, right? It's gonna be an interesting expansion. Hmm. Oh, I was watching some videos of the new civilization game, Beyond, Beyond, Beyond Humans, or something like that. I'm trying to remember what was the name of the, exactly the name of the game, uh, and it's coming in a uh, fall. I definitely gonna get it. It looks really interesting. I know it, it looks more like an XCOM because of all the, uh, like a Alien stuff. I, I don't know how it's gonna work out. Um, it's in Mayor, so I'm not sure it's gonna be great. <laughs> what can I say? So I'm just gonna be hoping to get that game soon. That will be great. That will be great. Um, like I say, hopefully somebody decide to do some soon Egyptian. Ooh. Cleo, Cleo, just get out of here. Uh, hopefully, somebody, somebody's gonna bring good news saying about Civilization <laughs> Revolution 2. Oh my god, it was so painful when I saw it, the release. Um, and I saw all the additions that they have in the, t in the tech, uh, tech tree and everything. Just, I really wanna give it a shot. I wanna buy it. I mean, I have it. I, I mean, I have the. The platform to, to probably buy it, but uh, I'm not a big fan of playing games on my tablet. I mean, I barely have time to play, right? <laughs> Why am I gonna look for another platform? Right now, I'm just focus on my computer, um, trying to do some Xbox. I didn't get the Xbox One, I didn't really dig into it. Not more like a I, I, basically you know what was the problem they they cancel watch uh, watch dogs as a release title um i was gonna get the xbox one if watch dogs was one of the games that's gonna get released like a right away but it got delayed of course you guys know about it uh well the whole story right now the watch dogs actually doesn't look as good as was looking at the videos but that's another story but the point is that I completely lost interest in the console and now all the fancy baloney media entertainment center I got computers I got so much stuff connected to my TVs I don't really need that stuff but so that's why I decided not to get it if a game like Civilization Revolution 2 show up for Xbox One I might get it right away of course but I decided to go in another direction I decided to get a Wii U I'm really happy playing Mario Kart and all that stuff really really happy Great times with your friends. Um, all right, so it looks like this game is getting so far. The first structure of the game is in place. Uh, we're trying to get all those expansions ready. Hopefully, we'll be able to get rid of those freaking barbarians for the kill me again. 
In any case, we're going to continue the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment my videos, fellas. This is Casio the Gang Hunter. We continue the next one. Civilization Revolution. Take it easy, fellas.